Thank you for calling the Chicken Connect Resource Center. Are you in a safe place to talk right now? No, the safest place I'll get, ma'am. Say that again? Uh, it's as safe as I'll, I'll get. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I also want you to know that this, this is an anonymous and confidential service, so you don't have to share any identifying information with me. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Okay, um, I have a wealthy, powerful abuser that has blacklisted for me in all avenues to get law enforcement, all of them, all domestic violence advocacy, even proper phone service, shut down victims' uh, domestic violence rallies, and harass and terrorize me in locations that I go, get gang stalked, and uh, psychological abuse in multiple different avenues, and there has been no consequences for years. I have tried to get a protection order. I have been pushed and shoved and forced to leave. I, they, I was removed at three different locations, well, uh, three different times, trying to get a protection order, and multiple times that they lost, lied and said they lost it. They have changed the whole protocol, and they're trying to convince me that they can't do anything to assist me unless this man has been in jail. So what's the protocol for getting a protection order? Um, I believe you would, uh, you started like your, at, at your local courthouse. Okay. Is there a particular reason why you don't know? And I called uh, Victim Connect. They said that you had legal advice here and all kinds of other different avenues. I've called for years and no one seems to have the answers for years. Oh, well, we don't provide legal advice. We provide information, resources, and referrals to different organizations. Okay. So what's the information you provide? The resources, the resources and referrals to the different organizations for victims of crime. Oh, so for me, you're not willing to provide the information and um, that you give other people. No, I didn't say that. I'm, no, I didn't say that. I'm just tr trying to... Uh, because it says the Victim okay, Connect exactly. Resource Center is a referral helpline where crime victims can learn about their civil, rights and options, confidentiality, and compassionately. The process starts at, starts at the courthouse. And it's different in different it's different in different states. Well. Okay, I'm in Texas. Because I've called years and, you know, it's pretty odd. Maybe that's why the police were waiting at AT&T and then come and enforce that I don't get normal service. Maybe that has something to do with it. Because I've called around years and all the people that I talk to seem to just cover for crimes. And I tried to tell the police hacking a phone network is a crime, but they keep covering for it and then threatening my arrest for trying to get normal phone service, which is pretty odd. But maybe that's why everywhere I call, they're not being dishonest about the services they provide and then later deny me services all across the United States for years. The victim, while you look for the information, it says the victim ass assistance specialists receive extensive training and mentoring to provide emotional support, information, and referrals that empower visitors as they navigate the physical, emotional, legal, and financial consequences of crime. Referrals are tailored to individual needs that can be made to local, state, and national organizations. But for years, I have been deprived of all assistance, proper assistance, when I make these phone calls. And people have blatantly lied to sabotage services for years. Are you going to do that today, ma'am? No, I'm going to refer you to the... Uh... I'm not being heard, ma'am. You are supposed to provide... Um, uh, Mentoring to provide emotional support, information, referrals that empower legal information. Let's see... It says that you're supposed to be trained and you haven't provided me anything. That you learn about your rights. You haven't told me any of that as any other location has. I even called the Action Network and they were playing games. You, do you not want me to know your my rights, ma'am? Hello. She hung up. 
no consequences year after year, repetitively getting defrauded out of funds and the psychological abuse. And, you know, it's just nothing, no consequences, period. And it's just as bad when I go in person. You saw police shut down the domestic violence rally and arrested and assaulted me at New Beginnings Garland. Then I tried to go to Grand Prairie to venture further out in Grand Prairie. They interrupted me speaking to a victim's advocate, called on my phone. I was told that the police get me in a safe environment. They detained me with footage of me getting stopped and ran off the road and a lot of evidence that I was being set up. They detained me and took the car that I had recently purchased, cash car. I think I paid $3,000 for it and they took it. It was impounded and, you know, going through this crisis, I did not have the money. I was in jail and I did not have the funds to get the car out. So I lost it. So they want me to keep repeating myself as part of the psychological abuse. To repeat myself over and over and then speak with scammers that sabotage and cover for the crimes that I'm experiencing. And like I said in other videos, oh no, I was getting terrorized. I was emotional having meltdowns. So, but you get used to it after going through it years. I was desperate at my phone providers and my arrest getting threatened and violated at my provider. Begging them year after year to help me and they never did to the degree of actually shutting my phone off AT&T and would not cut it back on forcing me to go to another provider. I have never heard or seen anything like what I've experienced in any kind of movie or every, anywhere. Then I can't even get support from church. They enlist church members to become abusers. Big ones. Big churches. Thank you for calling the Victim Connect Resource Center. Are you in a safe place to talk right now? I am. Oh, I guess it's the safest it'll be now. May I have your name? Do you give me your name or agent ID? My name is Denise. Okay, do you have an agent ID? No. Okay. I think we got disconnected before. Oh, we got disconnected. Is that what happened? Because but for years they just didn't have an explanation. It was like on purpose. Uh, but we got. Is there a particular reason why you just didn't call back? Your number doesn't pop up on my end. Oh, okay. Is that what happened? Okay. Then how do we, you know we got disconnected earlier? I just remember your voice. You remember my voice. The call, the call it, was a, it was a connection issue on my end. Oh, okay. okay. Are you depriving me of your training? I, Knowledge and no, expertise. I'm not to anything. No, I'm trying to give you the uh, the attorney general's off um, the attorney general of Texas. I want to know my rights, ma'am, because that's been sabotaged for years. Calling on my phone, you have to see it to believe it. I'm not being heard. I call for a purpose, and that was to know my rights because my calls are counterfeited. So I, before you were well, we giving me referrals, can, can you count on information? I can, I can refer you to a legal resource that can tell you more. They, about they do it too, ma'am. So why it says that you give information on my rights? Why are you not doing so? Because they all I do for years is get referred to other locations that do the same thing. So why can't you do well, your job duty? You know, Let me speak with your supervisor, ma'am, because you're playing games. I don't know why you won't do your job do 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 diligence in your job duty while you're depriving me of the right to get the assistance that you provide before you refer me to another location. I've been deprived of those rights for years. Hold on one second, please. So you're not giving me any of my rights or options? They don't want me to know anything at all. At domestic, they don't want the domestic violence locations telling me anything. That's why they shut down the rally. The police don't, they don't want me knowing nothing. There's some kind of online program that helps you know the court system. This is what they're supposed to offer. I was on another site. 
emotional support, understand their rights and options, find information, and connect with resources. Craft next steps to regain control over their lives. And those. This is how I have to find out because they won't tell me. Crime reporting. Crime reporting. System process. Identity theft recovery. I've had vic- uh, I've had identity theft too. So this is how long I've been on hold this time. But like I said, I've experienced this years under the radar. That's why I record everything. You don't call all the you know, all over the United States for people to blatantly lie, hang up in your face, and violate you if it's something that's not amiss with your phone. You don't call CPS 20 times and they deny all investigation. And then you go in person and they con for the CPS workers that and then lie and say that you can't it can't be done to report child abuse in person. It cannot. For me, the only way option, the only option, period, is to do it on your phone. And I did 20-something reports that were never investigated. They started, they did the con that they were investigating when I started to record. They, CPS, would not investigate any of my reports. They only investigated slander, and then they even made that disappear because it incriminated them. Why would the Statler Hotel hang up and cover for them trying to take my food and bully me on an outing that I had there? That doesn't make sense. And why I've actually been overcharged at hotel stays when I book online. Because they would give me problems in person, so I try to book online and they would give, you know, um, make that rate really high. Um, like, for example, I was charged $99. And, I mean, it was supposed to be $99, and I was charged $199. I'm still waiting for a supervisor to connect. Okay. So when I'm making statements about things that are too incriminating, they come back on the line and pretend like they want to assist. So, obviously, my calls are monitored. But anyway, it was the room was supposed to be $99, okay, but they charged me $199. I reported it to the police, and they covered for it. Central Patrol. So to come back that the scammers told me that they changed their rates all the time. So they didn't have a standard rate. So they can char- overcharge me on a whim like they got away with years with no consequences. They even overcharged me for food. So I had this friend that's probably a gang stalker. It's a long story. So we ordered food. Like three days later, he paid for it. On he ordered the food on his phone. Three days later, they um I ordered the food and they overcharged me. They uh, um up the price like a dollar fifty on the same food. In addition to that, they ruined my order. So the order was perfect when we first uh, when he ordered on his phone. When we ordered on my phone, the order was messed up. It was burnt and it wasn't right. But I would experience this routinely. That's why I had a, another video stating, I don't know what's going on with my food, what I'm eating, who, what's going on, who's oh, delivering it. Yes. Hello. My, my name is Vera. I am a supervisor. I was asked to connect with you. I want to make sure that I still have my um, VAS on the line. Can you still hear me? Or is it, we may have gotten disconnected, but that's okay. Um so I, I've been connected to provide some extra support. What would be helpful for us to talk through? Um, the advocacy that you're supposed to provide. I don't know why I've been deprived of it years. You're supposed okay. to tell me the best uh, avenue to protect myself and no one will. They leave me in jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I want to tell you a little bit about Victim Connect. Has that already been explained to you? I've already went over that. I'm asking to get the advocacy and support okay. you're supposed to provide. I'd like to hone in and concentrate on that because it's been been deprived of me for, uh, sure. for years. That is the purpose for me calling. This is my second call. Okay. And I've been on the whole 12 minutes and I've experienced chaos like this years. Everywhere I go did not want me to know my rights or any avenues to protect myself and only played games for years. So can you just please help me? Because no one has for years and they played games. 
in sabotage assistance. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind telling me a little bit about what is going on so that way I can get resources that are going to be very specific to your needs? Okay, I've had, this would be my third time. Um, well, I'm not quite sure because um, I thought this this would be my third time getting, going over it with someone. So I am in a, a stalking, um, like partner abuse situation that involves the government. I have multiple false arrests. The police terrorize me and list other parties to do so as well. Um, it's conspiracy to violate civil rights crimes. They have a multitude of people, deny me hotel stays, even food and water purchase. They have uh, um, the churches I attend, isolate me, disregard me, and deprive me of their services. Um, I went to a um, domestic violence rally. Police, Multiple police were there and shut that down. All domestic violence advocacy, I'm denied all all law enforcement, all FBI locations, all, um, I went to the DOJ, all avenues, all police departments cover for crimes, tamper with evidence, and um, deprive me from, for, uh, for, from assistance, would deprive me of assistance. So I go to organizations, they police enlist them to deprive me of services. The biggest conspiracy to violate civil rights scheme I have ever seen. Calling on my phone for years. I speak with scammers that deprive me of help, play games, and only try to convince others that they are actually the place that I call. These people have defrauded me out of funds. I've had social security payments stolen, embezzled funds for pay uh, social security. Um, and, embezzled stolen funds from attorney general child support payments and stolen food stamps in a crisis even my ability to get funds out of my account i was robbed of that i tried to call the police on my bank because they would not give me funds in my account in a crisis and i could not get the food stamps so i was deprived of food in the crisis and my the police covered for my bank and the reason why they deprived me of phone funds with a driver with a uh, id and social security card the bank that I banked at for over 15 years. Gosh, okay. And what region of Texas are you in? The attorneys that have gotten, I'm, sh I'm hoping that attorneys have been- I don't understand you. why you uh, want to do your I, job task and give me avenues like they haven't for years. The other party would not give me any even, uh, any information on how to combat the police corruption, anything on my rights. And that's what I wanted to concentrate on because for years I've been deprived of that information. Maybe these calls aren't real. Yeah. Maybe you're not really victim connect. Are you a scammer? No, ma'am. Okay, well then I can we can I, I Okay, well then can you tell me what my rights would be? Well, so one of the main not issues, but one of the things that we work through is because we are a national based organization, it's each victim right is very specific. To Can you get on on in mind? So, so, and so do you just going over that? Are you depriving me of any information? Because I'm asking for it as I have no. been for, um, let's see how long I've been on the phone. So, got 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. So, I want to make sure that you do leave this call with a number of resources. I, I don't understand I why you're depriving me for the resources that you offer here as well as all the locations I call for years. We haven't hung. I want to concentrate on the services you provide before you refer me to someone else. Are you sure you're not a scammer? Because it would be pretty sadistic I'm and sure. sick to break into someone's phone and counterfeit calls to terrorize them and violate them, even sicker to get away with it year after year with no consequences. So I'm not quite sure why I have a supervisor on the line that's playing games like the other party that was on the line and I've experienced this year after year with no consequences. So is there a particular reason why we can't concentrate on the services you provide? I have a number of services or resources pulled up that- So you're not willing to provide me with the services with you provide, you? period. You're not willing to give me the services you provide at all. Is that what you're stating? I. I Ma'am, so when we first connected, I asked if you'd already been explained victim services. I was under the under the impression that you had an understanding of what we did, and you wanted to focus solely on getting the resources. Um, I've stated it over and over. Okay, let's get the services that you provide. Absolutely. The services we provide, we have two hotlines. The one you've called is the National Victim Connect Resource Center. So we provide a connection to resources across 
the country specific to what our this is the conspiracy to violate was. civil rights crimes this is how they complete the scheme because they give referrals for never ending referrals to enforce i never get services this is a crime right here you're witnessing as have as this has happened year after I, year with no consequences it's criminal I, I do understand that it, it's frustrating to call people who cannot connect you or who cannot offer direct services that is a very frustrating experience our goal is to provide an additional level of resourcing that that's not what it states you haven't said you haven't set up a safety plan let me go back it states that you hold on emotional support their rights and options find information to connect with resources craft next steps to regain control over their lives you haven't provided me any of that and as have as that has not had in fact i haven't been provided that for years victims rights safety planning crime reporting system process identity theft recovery why aren't you doing any of those ma'am and the resources that I have to pull up need to be specific to the jurisdiction that you're in. I've already gave, so given it I'm to you. I'm having to look up. Say again. So yeah. when, how long is it going to take? Because I've been on the line um, all this I'm time, sure and you guys. Now. So I have resources pulled up on my on my screens here that I would love to share with you. Are you comfortable with me providing you? Some phone I wanted to I'm know before you give me the resources, area? my rights. The safety planning, crime reporting system process. I just, I don't understand why everywhere I call just refers me to another location to in a revolving circle of not getting anything accomplished for years. It is criminal to hack a phone network and deprive someone of any ability to escape abuse and resources and help even at church. It's sadistic and sick. And you would have to see it to believe it. I, I imagine you. a person can go, be tortured in that avenue with no consequences. I imagine no one would believe it. So you call years begging for I your help. You. People hang up in your face, violate you, mistreat you, and cover for the crimes you're experiencing, blatantly lie all over and over again with no consequences on the phone you're paying the bill for. And police come interrupt to enforce I the crime with no consequences for that year after year. So is there any particular reason why you will not give me, period, the victim's right, safety planning, crime reporting, system process, identity theft, all of that information? Are you being paid to make sure you don't? No, ma'am. Okay, well, then let's get to him. We concentrate on that because this is a long call. And like I said, I've experienced this years. So why won't you do your yeah, job task? It is a process, and I am I am working to get there. The last goal of mine is to just connect this call. I want to make space to hear all of the things that I can properly address. I understand that Vic, knowing your rights as well, you as officer, this get yeah. okay, well, she's important. not going to tell me that happened years. So, can you tell me the process of a protection order? Absolutely. And so in Dallas County, what you would want to do is connect with the Victim Services Department in that area. They would provide you with detailed steps through that process, but generally in order to get a protection order, you'll need to know the name and address of the individual that you're filing against. You'll need to be prepared to describe some of the violence that has occurred to display to the court that you have been in threat for your safety. Did you know that you can get a protection order for stalking? Did you know you can get a protection order for stalking? In, I know in the counties where I am, yes, I, that's something that I'm looking at. Um, to make sure that I'm not telling you misinformation. Yeah, because people, they forget that. that. that they forget that they cover for it and try to convince yeah. me that they, they, they I can't get a protection order for stalking. So I have to read upon myself for myself because all ever, avenues I have to escape the stalking and abuse, all our parties cover for it, including churches and online mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. on my phone. So it's like a twilight zone. Yeah. It's, so can we, We're you're deflecting again, again, ma'am? So for the stalking, your whole you get trained, but you don't want me to know information. No, I do want you to know the. Okay, well, when am I going to get I it, ma'am? Because I haven't received it for years. Only games and cons. I understand that, and I know 
I know that you are frustrated that you have. Yeah, you said that already, but we still haven't got down to any rights and information in this call for years of this. And this call has been 23 minutes. You do have the right to file for a protection order. I was sharing information about some of the information that you will need to have in order to properly file, but I am not an advocate in Dallas in your specific region that will be able to get you an order of protection all i can describe is the process and telling you that you do have a right as somebody who has been stalked who has been who's had crimes done against them you have the right to protect yourself you have the right to go to law enforcement and ask for safety and they should provide it i know that those systems are frustrating and that they do decline offering okay well what are my rights if they're not if you're a train ma'am if what are my rights if they're not and they refuse to as well as every place i call and sabotage information so if that's happening how do i protect myself excuse me ma'am i i hate to do this but i do want to be able to provide you resources and i know that you're getting frustrated by some of our banter i think that if i could go through what resources are that i would like to they are they you. do this at they did this at the domestic way. violence hotline i wanted to know how i can protect myself can you give me my rights why would you deprive me of my rights it says that you do this uh give rights why would i get deprived of my rights for years calling on my phone why do you not want me to know my rights uh, and why are you not doing if a safety plan and advocating about your right? Why are you not doing a safety plan or advocating gonna... or being supportive? Okay. Because I, as I'm trying to go through this process with you, I know that it's frustrating. I, you I'm keep redirecting to avenues that are not solutions, ma'am. You keep, you keep honing I in on it's frustrating right. and still depriving me of my rights as well. It's been done years. I will take ownership for the space that I've made that has distracted from us providing specific resources. Okay, well, if you take right. responsibility, can we get yes. on to it? Because I, I've experienced this on um, just for this call for I you. I cannot take ownership. 25 minutes and then I affect years. Ownership. Now they have to start an argument to use I that as an excuse to disconnect. I am not I am not attempting to argue with you, but I want to make sure that you understand that I am taking ownership for my team in this call, but I cannot take ownership for She's paid to not give it years. to me. They're not and they don't. Okay. Would you like to know the resource that I think would be able to assist you if you have been No, but I mean, I'd like to know why you're not I like to get down to the bottom of why you're not providing me with the services you offer and why for years people refer me to other locations, a revolving circle to spin my wheels where I never get help. Mm-hmm. So I want to know at this location, and that I wanted to hone on in and get an answer to the origin why I called here and you're depriving me of services like every other location. So I want to get down to the bottom of why you are not doing your job duty, your job task, and providing me the services that you provide. Like, I, I hear you, ma'am. I don't think you're going to like my answer. Oh, what's the answer? My answer is because as I'm attempting to provide you resources, you you take the conversation back a few steps and we, we end up repeating ourselves. Are you gaslighting me, ma'am? Contributing to psychological no, abuse a, to validate the, your bad behavior? You're supposed to be supportive, emotionally ma'am, supportive, are, and gaslighting me and be, being abusive is not supportive to validate your bad behavior ma'am, and your operator's bad behavior. Ma'am, I've experienced this for years, and it's not okay. I understand. It's not okay. And the the limitation of the services that this hotline can provide is direct service. So I can explain answers to you. About we haven't done a safety plan, ma'am. You're playing day. games. I said what's been done years. We haven't done a safety plan. You haven't given me my rights. You lied about the stalking. I've not lied about that. Okay, well, let's see when you try to disregard and change the topic, topic when we talked about the stalking. Okay, well, let's go into detail. It's a stalker that's running the government, controlling my phone. How in the world would someone combat something like that? Well, so that was not information that we just, what you had asked is if somebody was stalking you, if you could get a I'm telling you what happened, ma'am. I asked you how would I combat someone like that? You're deflecting and disregarding again, ma'am. That's abusive. Do you not want me to combat the abuse I'm experiencing? Calling you randomly? Are you covering for it, ma'am? 
to be able to combat a situation like that, you would need to have the individual's information so that you could document what's happening and then apply for a protection from stalking order. Okay. That what's that process, ma'am? What would I do if law enforcement's behind it and remove me at three different times? And then uh, they claim lie. The whole organization, the Frank Crowley Family Violence and Child Abuse Division blatantly lied and said that they lost it. They can't get their loss straight. I did too. Now they have scammed to where I can't even be there and they remove me and don't even know why they're doing it. Like the FBI and a multitude of other yeah. locations. Yeah, so I've had success with contacting the local legal aid department and, and, and seeing if they have... They are sick too, ma'am, and deprive me of assistance. I can't, I don't have rights. But here's the thing I wanted well, to... So you want me to combat all of this corruption to contact legal aid? Like they've been playing games and mistreating me, telling me legal aid? And then the fire truck, the fire department? I'm not saying that one of... I'm not saying that any one organization is going to be the solution to some of your issues, like some of your conflicts right now. We're not getting solutions, ma'am. Are you paid to deprive me of solutions? Because what are the solutions? So I don't think legal aid would be a proper yeah. uh, referral. It's like you're playing games. What in the world? How is legal aid going to combat corruption to this degree to break it into my phone, sabot sabotaging my calls, because, it's forcing me to speak with scammers that they, defraud me out of funds? And get away with it year yeah. after year. So I can, ma'am, I would like to explain why I think legal aid might be a resource. And I, they, I can't get services. I can't get services with. It's no way. need. I can't get services with legal aid. I, it's a conspiracy to violate civil no. rights. It's a, a abuse that includes that. I okay. can't get services with legal aid. I can't get legal representation. That's not going to help. I'm not being heard. Okay, that's good information to know. Let me continue looking. Have you spoken when you contact law enforcement? Have you been connected with a victim advocate? No, they deprived me of that. They even shut down a um, domestic violence rally when I arrived, the police. They terrorized uh, me okay. at the parks. So can... They even had me leave the parks when I wasn't recording. They scammed to where I'd have to leave the park. I see that there are a number of direct lines to some of the victim advocates in the Dallas Police Department. One of them is- the I'm not being heard. I'm not being heard, ma'am. So there's no, it's impossible, because it has been. You cannot escape domestic abuse that involves law enforcement. So if a man is a police officer and, or, and he has he's victimizing someone, there's no way, period, that anyone can escape abuse that involves law enforcement. No avenues, period, at all, period, on the planet. Is that what you're stating? Okay, well, how do you combat abuse that involves the police department and the government? Is there an individual? Like, are, we're talking you don't about want me to know how to combat uh, uh, abuse that, that, that involves the government and police department? You don't want to answer that question, ma'am, as they have in years? Ma'am, I need, you're asking very, very large questions, and I want to be able to give you correct information. So I'm only asking clarifying questions to get a bit more specific. But I'm not trying to deflect. I hope that, that that has at least been obvious in our conversation that I'm not looking to hang up on you. I'm not looking to deflect. I am making space to hear you, but I also need a little bit more. So this is it's abusive. She's muted. It's abusive okay. year after year wanna, for them to play games, to play blame like, for it. To really build trust here. I'm not asking you to trust play me, games. But I, I everything outside of why I call. I this has been 31 minutes and in fact years so of this nightmare. In person, and I know too. That they're getting there, that going in person and then giving me domestic, um, asking for domestic violence you. assistance, and then they give me homeless shelters and deprive me of any answers like this person is doing right now. Are you still there? Yes, ma'am. So if you're going to refuse the safety plan and all the services you provide, I guess I'd have to take the services you're willing to provide since you're refusing a massive amount of services and depriving me of any of the avenues to help protect myself, as well as the police department, DOJ, FBI, and all domestic violence locations before I was assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings. Well, after I was assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings. And they sat there, witnessed it, and did nothing as well.
So, okay, if whatever you're willing to provide me, it's clear, clear that you're not willing to provide me the services that you offer. You're not going to do it. I guess you got paid to make sure that you play games that did not give me the services. So I have to take the services you will provide. It's a conspiracy to violate civil rights, a crime, civil rights violations. So I don't have rights that other citizens have. Clearly. There's no doubt about, doubt about that. I'm just wondering when people will get the consequences for that crime. It is criminal. To the extreme of hacking my phone, counterfeiting calls and knowing full blown well no one would believe it and get away with it year after year. Law enforcement don't show up for officers to enforce they don't give you normal phone service which happens to still be criminal, even if law enforcement is doing it. So if you just let me know the things that you're willing to give me in this crime, I'll go ahead and take it. Well, anytime that there is law enforcement involved, meaning there's a police report made, I always want to get somebody connected with a victim advocate with the police department because they can better explain their process and where that specific report is in the process. I know that you are struggling with law enforcement being the perpetrator, so I understand if that is not the best resource. However, it may be helpful just to be able to get some information. They won't talk to me. I, I'm yeah. not being heard, ma'am. They won't okay. talk to me. I went to Garland. They the police interrupted that. I went to Plano. The police interrupted that. In Grand Prairie, they interrupted it. They won't let me speak with a victim's advocate. And when I call the victim's advocates on my phone, cover for it. Social workers cover for it. All of them. I don't have rights, ma'am. Well, mm -hmm. so the victim services coordinator may be a social worker. Um, but So you're referring me back to the police department, even though I told you that's not an option? You still are forcing me? Okay, that's well, how it's been for years. So even though they can't assist me, that's the only referral you're willing to give me? Okay, that's how it's been. No, ma'am. No, that's not the only resource I'm willing to give you. It's going to go through a process of me describing the resource and you telling me yes or no if it works. But I'm like, there's there's as many resources as you want to talk about. So then they do this deliberately. So you're losing your mind and now you're combative. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's combative. So I She's heard abusive. You that you Argumentative. The attorney general. Is that correct? I'm sorry, ma'am. What were you saying? The Texas Attorney General, you've, you've spoken with them. Um, where are they located? In Dallas? Um, let me see if they have an address. It's public. It's in Austin. But um, a lot of their services are done remotely, I believe. I called. I believe I called yeah. them and they, they, they did like you and just gave me referrals. They were not honest. Whoever I was calling on my phone, they gave me referrals and would not assist. The FBI con artists on my phone play games and will not assist either. That's why the police guard my phone providers, because they know that they have done a lot of extreme things, which is highly, highly illegal criminal activity. So they know if I ever call the real people, they're in really big trouble. So they enforce that I can repetitively speak with their scammers. It will corrupt government officials should not be controlling my phone and getting away with it year after year, a phone bill, I, a, a phone service I pay for absolutely controlling my call calls with no consequences these people have defrauded me out of funds and no consequences for that so i don't know what you're willing to give me ma'am since you don't want to give me the whole all the services that you offer like multitude of other places that i've called for years sure so as far as safety planning with the phone issues that you're describing where somebody has hacked into that device so you were you who you wanted to ma'am what you wanted to do you wanted to give me resources and deprive me of the res the um, the support you offer and the services you offer. You wanted to give me resources. Sure. So then you stop the resources yeah, to do the safety planning. So you're deflecting and like sabotaging okay. assistance. So you were at one point giving me referrals. Then you stop and Absolutely. now you want to do a and safety plan. I, well, you gave so, me referrals. The sure. referral so you I, gave me to the police department, a uh, 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 police department advocate, I told you repetitively over and over that I could not use that. And you kept yes. repeating that same thing over and over. Yeah. Then you said to the AG, yeah. and I told you they were committing a crime, and now you want to do a safety plan. Well, so I'm still looking at additional resources as, 
as I'm getting more information from you. But as you're sharing that information about your cell phone, there are specific things that I like to safety plan about. So I thought it could be a good time to also interject with some safety planning. Well, we, have, we like haven't had any solutions as for, so for years, ma'am, on how to combat this situation. Listen, so we can do both at the same time. I'd like to go I ahead. Know that it's frustrating, ma'am, your avenue of helping as well as a multitude of other people. What I think it is, is there's avenues okay. of harassment that you can get away with over the phone to torture someone and terrorize them, psychologically abuse them. And then when that person if reacts, you then, that. you know, then that's, that shows okay. something that you'd like it to show. But that this is not being supportive, no. ma'am. It's not at all. So if you no. wanted to talk about, no, if you were wanted... forcing me, if you were depriving me of the services that you offer and you force referrals, you didn't give the referrals, ma'am. We've been on the phone a long time, and in fact, I've experienced this years. Absolutely, and here's the thing. The last thing I want to do is create an environment that's unsafe for you. So if you feel that I've been harassing you, that I have been intimidating you, that I have been threatening you, like, I, this is no longer safe. Um, and I want to make sure that you do have access to a safe hotline. My, my intention is not to do those That's things, what my apartment I, complex did that, when they were depriving I, me of services, ma'am. They said, well, someone did that. I mean, I mean, there's all kind of catch 22s to why I haven't received services years like it's planned. So what are you willing to do on this call that I spent 40 minutes on? And in fact, years getting deprived, defraud, def I guess you can say defrauded and deprived of services because it is a crime. So I don't know what so I, I would like to just please listen. So I would like to just have a fluid conversation about the resources that I think could be a solution. You get to tell me if those aren't and we move on to the next. And at the same time, talk about things that you're describing to figure out if there are things that I can describe with a safety plan to make it a bit safer. And, you know, I, I want to flow between both of those coming out with information about your victim's rights it happens whenever I, I know more of that information. But I know we've been on this call for a long time. I know that you've been like on the call scammer with for the police. a very long time. And it's that they need more information so to never it, give it. It is it's taunting. It's challenging for us to navigate this space and in a abusive. way that feels the most She's helpful muted. for you. And also, while providing the fluid... But I actually was fighting for my life, scared, forced to be but in again, a tent, getting dreaded multiple times a day, attack, safe. police set it I up and cover for it, just like they were at the park. You lean into that? And, and then there was nothing like, I can do, do calling like, hours and like, hours. They do like this crap, start arguments, crap. disregard, um, that, change again, the topic, intention, cover for that. everything, and, and for deprive me of any solution. They were full for years, all locations, forcing me in a tent. control over this call. If it's not helpful, I want to get you phone numbers that maybe could be helpful, but I can't guarantee how that conversation is going to go with any of the phone number like i want to say that organizations are going to be helpful but once you contact them if they're not we may need to talk about ways to go about reporting those things but if you've already attempted that and it's not helpful then we kind of get stuck in this space of what do you need right now that maybe is a little bit more like fine-tuned of of, around basic needs because if all of these organizations have not I need jail sentences ma'am I need people to buy by the law and stop committing crimes I need people to start going to prison and get the felony charges they've wrecked up for years these unaddressed felonies that keep going on year after year I need people to get the consequences for their act, extreme actions with no consequences that's what I need yeah. felony sentences so I guess if the people wreck up these felonies they've earned she hung up Uh, they're not going to help they're paid to deflect play games I went through this years calling hours and hours and don't get it misunderstood I was in tears I am living in a tent on the street getting terrorized getting terrorized at hotel states put out of there too I don't get it misunderstood yes I was completely terrorized and a, tortured and afraid and there was nothing that I could do just like it isn't today so you witness victim connect you saw those services they were supposed to provide they didn't as well as a multitude of other locations that I've called for years and it's just the same in person the police interrupted in person 
Conspiracy to violate civil rights is criminal, and these people have not racked up the felonies that they've earned.